watching this video as in good health and spirits um i've missed you guys i'm back um today my video is going to be a little different it's probably going to be a little bit more vulnerable topic wise um i'm going to open up about my journey with depression how music therapy has helped me with that and also um one of my favorite bands um lincoln park um starting with lincoln park this is the first album that i was actually introduced to it's called reanimation my mom actually put me onto this um it came out in 2002 very ahead of its time visually um if you can see some of the art and then text wise how they wrote their track list they did it in text font so like everything is like shorter place for my head in the end high voltage my december you can see the shorter ways of writing it um very similar to how we even send text messages we look for shorter ways to say laugh out loud lol you get me so um i was introduced to them reanimation is actually a remix album of their first album hybrid theory um and it's actually probably my favorite album by them just because so many different topics so many different artists collaborated on on it like riff raff uh black thought the list goes on um they're super dope um one of their songs that they're most popular for is numb and they're also popular for their collaboration with jay-z for uh collision course um where they fused a lot of tracks from hybrid theory with Jay-Z songs. Um, the Numb Encore song that they did with Jay-Z is probably one of my favorites. And I actually got the pleasure of seeing that live for Jay-Z's 444 tour. I will provide a clip from that tour um, for you guys. It doesn't feature um, Linkin Park in person, but he does the tribute track to Chester um, RIP to him and my condolences to his family still. How crazy is it that he's no longer with us? Um, but one of the things that I found refreshing about Lincoln Park was their fearlessness, their courageous uh, sound to talk about things that weren't necessarily popular at the time. Um, a lot of times music is centered around a lifestyle, a good vibe, parties, girls, clothes, money, etc. But their topic and content was about inner issues like paranoia and feeling like, you know, am I ever going to get better? You know, inner issues. And I really resonated with that because... Um, around the age of 14, I started going through mental health issues and I've been dealing with it ever since. Um, so to hear them sing about being paranoid and to, to hear them sing about depression and, and not feeling like you belong and uh, feeling like there's no place for you stood out to me. I felt understood when I listened to them. Um, because there is a stigma with mental health when you start talking about it um, and it's not a good stigma it's a negative stigma people feel like oh well she's crazy because she deals with this or he's crazy because he deals with that or how do you say you need help when people are going to judge you and now people have started this like I feel like it's a me too movement um, to come out like oh this month is dedicated to mental health but this is something that's been going on for for years for decades um it's it's much more than just a movement it's much more than you waking up and say hey i deal with that too you know this is something that people struggle with for years you know and instead of people trying to label someone they don't understand instead of trying to get to know them to know what they're going through we just like oh they're crazy oh they need help or you know stuff like that and it's just like if we treated people with a little bit more compassion you know maybe things will be different and maybe people would feel safer to come out and say you know this is what it is because 
there's a percentage of people who are with mental health issues, but I, I definitely do feel like their number is a lot larger um, because people don't want to come out about it because it's it's a negative stigma. And for a long time, um, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to address it. I didn't want to deal with it. So I covered it up and um, I coped with it in unhealthy ways. You know, I tried to dress it up like, you know, I was fine or um, I tried to emerge myself in other projects to take my mind off of what was really going on with me and one of the songs that I like by Linkin Park is called Crawling and he basically says one of us like I'm crawling in my skin these wounds they will not heal and so like hearing that it's like when you are going through things mentally it's an internal issue and I felt like what is going on like you can feel a difference but so early in age I was like I know something's going on with me but I don't know how to fully express it I don't know how to fully communicate like I'm feeling different like I'm not feeling myself I'm not feeling happy I'm not feeling complete um, and no matter what I do it's like it's still within me like it's still crawling in my skin and um luckily i have a mom who <laughs> worked in mental health so she was able to see like something's going on with my daughter but the road was not easy trying to get me to really open up about it it was it was a difficult time and it, it put a strain on on my, our relationship but through time and over the years, through therapy, um, a lot of therapy, um, things got better. But for a while, it was just a dark time for me. And um, I turned to music to cope because a lot of times when I can't say things, music is there to say the words that I can't. And Linkin Park has been that band that like has a song literally for every mood or um spell that i'm that i'm under um music is definitely something that i turn to it keeps me at a certain level of like content um but i will say when you are going through things that you aren't fully comprehending um sometimes you have to be mindful of the music that you listen to simply because like it can either you know calm you down put you in a good state or it could fuel negative desires and intentions because like every input there's an output so though i love lincoln park some of the songs i had to like put a pause on until i was mentally stable enough to be okay listening to it and um with depression with anxiety with mental health in general you have to deal with things in doses. When you start to overdo it, there's this imbalance that's created. And depression isn't something that you just wake up with and say, oh, I'm having a shitty day, like I'm depressed. Like depression is something that is internal and it builds over time. And you know, like through the loss of a loved one, through having breakdowns, through being overwhelmed physically or, you know, even mentally, like it's different things that feed into depression. Excuse me. Um, so I encourage people who are dealing with depression, who have these racing thoughts, like when is this ever going to end? Like when am I ever going to feel secure? Um, I encourage them to do a combination of things because it takes more than just you verbally saying I'm depressed. It takes you exploring, you know, those feelings and exploring that darkness, like writing, exercise, spiritual outlets, having at least one person that you trust. Um, doing things that make you happy, doing things that lift your endorphins, that um, 
put you in a good mood, you know, surrounding yourself with good energy. Um, it's a combination of those things and listening to music does help as well. But remember, like, it has to be in doses. It can't just be screamo, waking up listening to screamo and you're depressed. Like, that could be a negative thing. Um, you want to listen to things that, that calm you, that put you in a sedated um, state. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play my clip of one of my favorite songs by Linkin Park for you guys. Um, but please, 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 please practice mindfulness. I think that when we address things that or address people that we don't necessarily understand, um, instead of labeling them as crazy or don't go near her you know take the time to get to know them say something nice like if you see someone stressing help them out you know like kindness goes a long way and you'd be surprised what complimenting someone will do because you never know the battles that someone faces and it took me well over 10 years to get to a place to where i can communicate how i feel i can communicate my journey because it hasn't been an easy one um i've been judged i've had people call me crazy i've had people not understand some of my actions that came from when i was dealing with mental health issues so sometimes the actions that people take in those modes aren't really them it's their illness you know what i mean and you know you have to learn how to not take things so seriously and you have to just practice mindfulness. That's the biggest key uh, for me. And um, Linkin Park has helped me express myself, express what I feel. It may not be pretty, it may not be perfect, but it's real. And that's something that I pulled from their music is the rawness, the realness to say like, I'm not okay but I'm gonna try to get there as best as I can. So um, thank you guys for tuning in with me and uh, play the track and I hope you have a great day. Getting all the way up in heaven. Oh my God. There's a lot of motherfuckers in here for a tour that's not selling. Hey, I caught that. That's just pain. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's definitely not the right moment. Give me some music here. Yeah. Thank you, Dallas. You're far too high. Yeah.